All right, what's up, you guys? We should be live here in about a second. Wait for some people to get in here. Okay, there we go. First person in the chat is Chris. Of course. Brooks Embry, what's up, bro? I'll wait for some people to get in here. Just figured I'd come on and hang out with you guys for a little bit, open some random stuff. Um, so tonight we've got a Metabots booster box. I thought that would be interesting, and we're going to open 10 packs of Evolutions, 10 more packs of Evolutions out of a Kanto Power Collection. So I thought that might be... Just a fun little uh, hangout session. Nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. Dr. Neat, what's up, bro? Just making sure the stream is showing up for everybody. Open a, opened a Vivid Voltage booster box today. Got some solid hits. What'd you get out of there, bro? Eric Dunez, what's up, bro? ACM, what's up? All right, cool. We got some people in here now. Nick coming in clutch with the uni assignment distraction, says Lachlan Atkins. I remember you from the last stream, bro. Thanks for stopping by again. Wow, Metabots takes it back to better times. Yeah, I was actually watching, uh, if you go on YouTube, there's actually some YouTube channels that have replays of Saturday morning cartoons, um, and I was watching this one channel that basically had a whole archive of Fox Kids, and I was watching uh, a bunch of Metabots reruns, and I thought, man, that'd be interesting to get a booster box of Metabots, since it basically, uh, I mean, for lack of a better word, it was kind of a failed failed uh, trading card game, but I thought it would be interesting to get one. They're pretty cheap. It was like 80 bucks for the booster box. Um, and it ran on Fox Kids and ABC Family on Saturday mornings back from 2001 to 2004. Some of you guys might remember the Game Boy games. There were some Game Boy games for it. I think it had a very short-lived uh, Nintendo DS stream or Nintendo DS run too. You got a Full Art Trainer, Secret Rare, Oranguru, Amazing Rare, Rayquaza, and a Celebi, and a Pikachu Full Art solid box. All right, so we're gonna do the evolutions first. I was waiting for some people to come in here. So 10 packs of evolutions out of a Kanto power collection. We'll see if we can get a Charizard before we get into the Metabots thing. Um, but the Metabots, I have no idea what you're looking for in there. I don't know what the good cards are, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Isaiah Escobar says, hey, Nick, how's it going? Chris says, smash that like if you think that knife, <laughs> if that knife looks dangerous. Mike Wizard says, hi, Nick. What's up, bro? So first pack of Evos, Maintenance, Poliwhirl, Charizard, Spirit Link, Voltorb, Machop, Growlithe, Water Energy, Magnemite, Ninetales Break, and Eradicate. We got to rip that rat. All right, so what I think we should do here is we should probably go back and forth between we'll do a Metabots pack. We'll do a couple Metabots packs for every one Evolutions pack. I think that seems like a good idea. So let's go ahead and crack open this, this booster box here. So let's see what the year, if it says what year this was from on it. 1997. So it says you've got... Here, let's open this up and read. It tells you the hit rates on the back, which I think might be kind of cool. So I don't really know. I guess there are holographics based on what it says on the back. I don't remember a whole lot from this show. This is probably a little bit before my time. Nikhil is creating a group of rebels to overthrow Chris. What's up, Nikhil? How you doing, bro? Good to have you back. 
you guys were all telling me in the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh opening to get a knife, so I got my knife in here. So over 20 years old, Metabots booster box. This would be interesting. So let's see what our hit rates are. There are 50 common cards, 10 rare cards, and nine meta rare cards. One in nine odds for the meta rare, one in three odds for the rare. Brooks Embry with a 499 donation. Thank you, bro. Starting the stream off strong. Nikhil says, someone else is banning me again and again. Nikhil, I don't think there's any other mods here except for Chris right now. And I don't think Chris is uh, I don't think Chris is banning anybody yet. So these were made by Upper Deck. So this should be kind of cool. So let's see. We should do three of these and then an Evolutions, and we'll go back and forth. Three Metabots and one Evolutions. I think, yeah, so there's 36 packs. Oh, I do. I definitely remember these. I remember the backs of these cards for sure. You guys will have to let me know in the chat if you guys remember. There's not very many cards in a pack. Yeah, I don't remember any of these robots, dude. Black Rover. That looks kind of familiar. Potato Insect. Sumilodon. This one looks familiar. Rok Rokoshu. And a Honey Force. So how many cards... So those are what, that's what the back look like. Let's see. So we got five cards in a pack. No wonder it was such a cheap booster box. That's not a, not very many cards. So I don't think any of these were the rare cards that we're looking for here. Nikhil says, I sent you a DM. Please reply. On which account? Sea Monster. The quality of these cards, they feel really thin, too. They don't feel very... They feel kind of cheap. Banchu. Genius. Stole Boat. And a Gilgirl. I mean, even the graphic design on these cards is kind of... Uh, kind of cheap. They're very, very thin. I'm kind of interested to see what these holographics look like, though. So for those of you guys that just joined in, we'll do three packs from Metabots for every one pack of Evolutions. I mean, yeah, look how cheap. I mean, the designs on these just really aren't great. Karen... Sea Monster, Banchu, Rintaro. Like, I don't remember any of these characters' names. Look at this guy. Shrimp Lips. Is there no symbols on the bottom for rarity? I don't know. All this... We might have to do a quick Google on the uh, Metabot set and see what we're looking for. Let's open one more Metabot's. It said you had a, like a one in three chance of getting a rare, so that was three packs. Nicholas Prevo says, what's up? What's up, bro? What time, what is time in America? It is very early morning in India. It's only 9.50 p.m. here, so a little bit earlier than we typically go. So these, one of these is backwards. I don't know which one's the front. So, oh, there we go. So there are holographic cards, so we are looking for holographic cards. Dr. Aki. Not a very impressive looking holographic pattern on there either. Samantha. Ambiguous 2. Sloan. And a Jackal. I don't know if this stamp means it's a rare or something, but we do know now that there are holographic cards in the Metabots. That's, I guess we learned something new so far this stream. Now we'll go for another Evolutions pack. So on the last stream, we opened 40 Evolutions packs from the uh, Kanto Power Boxes. 
and out of those 40 packs, we got zero OG artwork Charizard. So maybe in these 10, we'll get one. Jose Peru says, Nick, I sent you a DM on Instagram. Jose, what was it about? And what was your Instagram uh, username? I'll have to go back and look. And which which account was it on? Nick Strength and Power or Nick Strength and Pokemon? Seal, Nidoran, Ponyta, Doduo, Pikachu. There's a good hit. Diglett for Chris. And a hollow Raichu out of the Raichu pack. Not bad. Let me move this mouse. The last stream should be uploaded. So we got a hollow Raichu out of a Raichu pack. So Dr. Neat says, are you planning on uploading the last stream? Um, it should be up on the channel now. I've got a uh, playlist on my main page of the channel for uh, past live streams. Nick, what about the new Digimon set? So I am looking into, I've opened a few packs, but I haven't been able to find a Digimon Series 1 English Edition booster box yet for a fair price. So we'll do three more Metabots. Actually, we'll do four since we're not really getting a whole lot of cards out of these. MB says, picks or you're lying. What did Chris say? Did you buy any Battle Styles booster boxes yet? So I've said before I did pre-order two boxes of Battle Styles from DFW Pokemon. They canceled my order, so I just placed a new pre-order from an eBay seller that had really good feedback, and hopefully they don't cancel my order. So Earth Brachio, War, War Bandit, High Giraffe. I mean, even the character design here. Some of these characters were pretty whack looking. Oh, here we go. We got another holographic. Should I sleeve these up? Wire Alien. I don't know if they'll fit in a Pokemon sleeve or not. It looks like it would. I'll put them in some sleeves. Wire Alien, Hollow Metabots card. So we'll, I guess we'll sleeve all of our Metabots hits here. I don't know if they're worth anything. They're probably not since this whole booster box was like 80 bucks. So what does that come out to? Like $2 a pack? A little more than $2 a pack? So there's our Metabots Hollows, and here's our Metabots Commons. Yeah, I ordered through an eBay seller, and they just sent it out. Okay, that's good. So they're supposed to come out Friday. The 19th is the official release date. I have another question for the chat. Do you guys know, for the GameStop promo, are they doing the GameStop promo card for online orders or just in-person orders? That's one thing I haven't been able to quite figure out. Marche, Stay Dried, Clow, Garant Lady, and another Karen. Yeah, they could have tried a little bit harder with the graphic design on these cards, to be honest. I can see why it wasn't a big hit. I don't know the mechanics of the game. I'm assuming it's pretty similar to any TCG. It looks like different robots have different stats and attack points or whatever. I wonder if what a meta rare looks like. Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. I, there might be some kind of symbol on the cards. These packs are really cheap too. They're really like thin and st sticky. Very sticky seals on them. Clow, Erica, Shane Gons Gonski says, "What's up, Nick? What's up, bro?" Medison and a Kyrara. All right, one more Metabots pack. We'll do another Evos. This one's got another backwards card. I wonder if the backwards cards have any significance. Not very good quality control. Oh, I guess they do. So that card was backwards. Kono Tractor Hollow. So we got another Hollow. Yeah, that hollow pattern is like a super lazy hollow foil. Soft amoeba. Sloan. Making the bacon is in the chat. What's up, bro? And a Koji. So we got a pretty decent... I think it said the hollows were one and three. Let me look at the back of this box again. Because one of the rares was one and nine. 
I think we've had better luck than one in three, haven't we? So it says 50 common cards, five to one, 10 rare cards, one to three, and nine meta rares, one to nine. So I'm assuming these, I'm assuming the hollows are rare, and since meta rares are one and nine, I'm assuming that's a different looking card. We'll do one Evos Blastoise pack artwork. Thanks to everybody that tuned in tonight. I mean, this is definitely kind of a different stream. Probably not a lot of people familiar with Metabots. But if you guys have any questions or Q&As you want to ask in the chat, probably a good time to do so, since the chat is probably going to be slower tonight. You can already see there's whitening on the top of these two. There's that Evo's quality control. Switch, Blastoise, Spirit Link, Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Pikachu, we'll put him over there with our Raichu. Energy, Charmander, we'll put him over there with our Pikachu. Rattata, Diglett, Reverse Professor Oak's Hints. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mega Charizard EX Full Art. This is about a $500 card in a PSA 10. It might be more than that now. I haven't checked this card in a while. So these are out of a Kanto Power Box. Not too shabby for the first three packs out of a Kanto Power Box. So the other hit we got, and the first card was a break card, actually. So every pack has really been a hit so far. So three packs into this Kanto Power Box, I've got three pretty decent hits. So we've got seven packs left. Do you think we're going to get the OG Hollow Zard? This seems like a pretty solid Kanto Power Box so far. Or did we potentially just pull all the hits out of it and everything else is going to be trash? Do you see Keon going to open class in a few years? It depends how he does in 212. I think his goal is to win the 212 Olympia, so I think he's going to stay in, in 212 until he achieves that. Um, and who knows how long that's going to take. I think Keon, has, he certainly has the physique to win. He certainly has the size to win. But like I've said before, 212 has kind of become a conditioning game anymore. Nikhil says, bro, sorry for disappearing. My father snatched my phone from me. Chris says, can I get that high giraffe card? Any other TCGs you plan on opening? Me and Chris were just talking about doing uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh openings and possibly Digimon in the future. Dr. Meta Evil. Easiest to, easiest to, Electra. I'm going to have to go back and watch this, uh, watch this cartoon again. I don't remember most of these. Bazart and an anemone. Um, hit that like button for the Zard pool, says legs. I'm starting to like 212 more than open because of conditioning, says graph graphics. Yeah, honestly, I agree. I think Sean Clarita, you can make an argument that Sean Clarita in 212 in the 2020 Olympia had better conditioning than most of the men's open guys at the open Olympia. Sean Clarita was amazing. I don't think he gets enough credit because he's a shorter guy and he's not that heavy. I think Sean deserves a lot more credit than he gets. Topercia. De Gaulle. Do you guys remember these toys, the little action figures that came out with these? You could, like, interchange the arms and legs between, uh, between figures. And we got another hollow. Mr. Referee. So in the one episode, or the two episodes that I watched the other day, Mr. Referee was in both of them, so I do remember this guy. Nick Strength and Metabots, what the duck is this? We're doing just some random TCG stuff, just a random live stream hangout tonight. We're going to open these Evolutions packs, which we already pulled a full art Charizard out of. Metabots was 2001 to 2004, bro. Tundle. Dol Dolphin. They weren't very creative with these names, were they? Mr. Referee. Frill Free. Spike. What a creative name. He's got spiky hair and his name's Spike. Shrimp Lips. I mean, what the hell were they thinking naming this guy? 
Yeah, I remember them from the toys too. I th these cards look familiar to me. The backs of them do, so I'm sure I had some of these cards at some point. Uh, but I definitely mostly remember the kid, the toys. Yeah, Metabots had a card game. They had Game Boy games. They had DS games. But I mostly remember the action figures. I was just sitting watching this the other day, and I thought it'd be cool to get a booster box of these and open it up on the channel. Not touch. Okay. Back to Evolutions. So far, not too shabby of an Evolutions opening. Shrimp Lips sounds like an insult a bully in middle school would call someone. So after this, guys, tonight I will be posting a video on the channel as well, so you guys can uh, stay tuned for that. I, I'm posting a regular video on the Nick Strength and Pokemon channel. I've got a pretty cool one planned for you guys tonight. Magmar. Switch. Maintenance. Poliwag. Sandshrew. Voltorb. Magnemite. Caterpie. Reverse Machoke. And a Mega Slowbro EX. We are four for four right now on Evolution's hits out of this Kanto Power Collection. For those that are just tuning in, because I saw Atlantis just stop by. Atlantis. So we've only opened four packs out of ten in the Kanto Power Box. We already got a Raichu. We already got a Mega Charizard EX Full Art, Nine Tails Break, and a Mega Slowbro EX. We're four for four on the Evolutions packs right now. This is a pretty good box. This might be the one that we get a OG Hollow Charizard. Josh Harless with 199 in the building potion time, baby. Josh, I need to get your uh, potion mailed out. I've been mailing out a couple people's uh, giveaway cards so far. I was trying to find that hollow, uh, that reverse hollow super potion that we pulled for you the other night. I want to send that with your, uh, with your potion card. I don't want to just send you a common potion. All right, so four more, four more Metabots. Noah Katz says, how's it going, Nick? What up, Nick? How's the four-legged friend? I will show you guys one of the dogs by the end of this stream. People were upset that I didn't show them last time. I feel like this kind of, this kit offset the dud of the other. So I think there's a hollow in this because one of these is backwards. So I think this is a hollow. Nice. Black Beetle. Not to be confused with the song by Ray Shrummond. You guys will have to let me know if there's any PSA population for any of these cards. Like, would anybody even bother having these graded? Look how much whitening's at the top of that. And there's got to be print lines on all this hollow. And then we also had War Bandit, Clow, High Giraffe, and Erica. Now it's three at night here in Germany. I knew it was worth to wait. Kevin Wittig, what's up, bro? Thank you for stopping by all the way from Germany. So this will definitely be a shorter stream, um, but I will have a new video for you guys sometime tonight. It might be posted a little bit later than usual. Nervous Bird, Soft Amoeba, Dr. Meta Evil. Easiest too. Kevin Wittig says, it's a pleasure to be here, bro. It's a pleasure to be here talking to you guys. I really enjoy doing these streams, even if we don't have a lot of people watching. It's always fun to, to uh, just hop on here and talk to some of you guys. Hey, man, have you had many lifting injuries before? The worst I really had was shoulder impingement and what I believe was a herniated disc, a herniated disc in my back. Nick, do you ever open... Magic cards. I was never really into Magic the Gathering. I don't think I've ever even owned a single Magic card. Victor. Medicine. Kirara. And another Nervous Bird. Let me know in the chat. Do you guys think we're going to get uh, the Hollow Zard out of this Kanto box? This has been. The, I think this is the best Kanto Power Collection we've opened so far. Why Rex says the Pokemon community is great. That's a fact, bro. Nothing but positivity. We got another backwards card. Or maybe we don't. Basart. Anemone. Clow. Garant Lady. 
Ooh, this is probably the best card to get. This is the main character, I believe. Or maybe it's not. Is this mislabeled? Cantaroth. Isn't his name Meta B? I thought the main character's name, this yellow guy, which is on the box and on the packs, I thought his name was Meta B. That hollow, that hollow has a different pattern too. You see that swirl in the background? I wonder if this is the meta rare that it was talking about on the back of the booster box. Here, let's compare here. So look at the hollow on this. You can see that swirl pattern. Yeah, this one doesn't really, yeah, this one doesn't have the swirl. This one does. All right, cool. All right, next pack of Evos. This will put us at the halfway point after this pack. I'm feeling some Charizard energy tonight. It's a whole episode. Some kid shows up with an upgraded newer Meta B lookalike. Shenanigans ensue. So that's what that guy is. Cantoroth. It's just a Meta B clone. Just bought two boxes of Evolutions, one more collection, and other to open for fun. Good choice, bro. Very good choice. I keep saying if I had $1,000 to spend on Pokemon products, the first thing I would buy is an Evolutions booster box, and then whatever's left over, I would probably buy some Evolutions packs. Diglett, reverse Brock's Grit. Do we have another hitter behind here? Nope. Farfetched. So our first stinker. On pack number five. All right, so one, two, three, four more metabots. Then I think we'll switch back to doing three metabots. The weird things you remember after 20 years. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go back and watch. Uh, Josh Harless says, No mods in here? Taking attendance. I don't hear Chris. I'm on FaceTime with Chris right now. I just don't see him in the chat. Chris, you need to check in, bro. You're not working. Tearing cards tonight. Only the far-fetched and the radicates. Rintaro. Shrimp lips again. Black Rover. Potato insect. You gotta love the names of these guys. Are the ETBs of Shining Fates any good? I really enjoyed the ETB that I got of Shining Fates. I got a lot of hits out of that. There's a video on the channel of me opening it. I think they're worth, well, they were worth the retail price at least. I don't know if they're worth what people are charging for them on the internet. I think they've dropped down to about 90 bucks though. Child, child sitter. I guess that's like a babysitter. Food witch. Yeah, I can definitely, I can see why these cards weren't popular. Hachiro, Carrara, and a genius. So tomorrow night, I'm hoping, I have uh, 20 more Evos coming that I'm hoping will come tomorrow. So I want to stream again tomorrow, open 20 more Evos, and then Friday we will have the regularly scheduled entire booster box of Evolutions on Friday night. So make sure you guys all stop by on Friday, because that will be a fun one. And if the uh, 20 packs of Evolutions that I've got coming separate to the box don't come tomorrow, I'm going to open everything on Friday. Just joining in, what's up, Nick? Says super effective collectible. So tonight we're opening this vintage Metabots booster box. We're opening four packs of this for every one pack of evolutions. Josh Harless with another donation, a hot dog. Josh keeping the stream alive with the glizzy train. Which Pokemon product would you say is the best for newbies in the Pokemon TCG slash collecting? It depends what you mean by newbies. If you're someone in their 20s or 30s that's getting back into it, I would say Evolutions, because if you're in your 20s or 30s, you probably remember base set, but most of us can't afford base set. So I would probably go with Evolutions. So looks like we got another, okay. So this card is the hollow, I think. So we've got a Water Beat, okay. We've got a Sea Monster, a Banshu, Rentaro, Shrimp Lips again, 
Let's put water beat in a sleeve. Bro, someone again timed me out, says Nikhil. Nikhil, I don't even think Chris is here. I don't think anybody's timing you out. Chris hasn't even been in the chat. I don't think there's any other mods even in here. Metabots, cool. Never heard of it. Yeah, Metabots, um, a little bit more of an obscure TV show from 2001 to 2004 on Fox Kids and ABC Family. Legs with a $1.49 glizzy. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. And also, I love the username. Dub Dub is in the chat. He won the giveaway on the last stream. Thanks for stopping by, Dub. I'm 23 right now. I had two or three Pokemon boosters when I was a kid. I played every Pokemon game from Game Boy to Switch, but I'm still to this point a Yu-Gi-Oh! player collector. Yeah, I collect a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! too. Secret Rare Executor, so I don't blame you at all. Pokemon Beach Club here to show some support. Nick Strength and Power. Nick Strength and Pokemon for the win. Thanks for stopping by, Pokemon Beach Club. We've got a Charmander. Poliwag. Leaf Energy. You're doing a giveaway card tonight. I might. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I'm going to give away. Machop Reverse. Ooh. Are we going to get teased by an Arcanine? I need some fire in the chat. I think... Ah... Uh... Thoughts on Mark Max Muscle. Is that a YouTube channel? I think I've seen I think that guy comments on a lot of my stuff. I think he follows me. I've never watched his videos though. Is he a bodybuilding YouTuber? F in the chat for that arcane on. Alright, we'll do how many more metabots we have left in this booster box here. Actually, it looks like we got a lot. We'll do three more. I watch Filion and Bat Guy too. Bat Guy's pretty funny. I've seen some of his videos. I like Filion too because he doesn't just talk about bodybuilding stuff. I'm late to the stream. What are the hits? Garo, I'll show you in a second after this pack. So we got a Stole Boat, a Gill Girl, Centipede. Elect Electra, Earth Brachio, so nothing in that one. You gotta, yeah, man, you gotta watch. He did a comparison versus you when you competed, comparing him to me when I competed. That doesn't really sound like something I would watch. I haven't competed in six years. All right, so Garu asked to see the hits. So Garu, out of the Metabots box, a Wire Alien, a Water Beat, a Hauntaroth, Black Beetle, Mr. Referee, Kono Tractor, and Dr. Aki. And then out of the Evolutions, we were, we were doing pretty well in the beginning. We got a Raichu, Mega Charizard EX. I think that was like the second or third pack. Nine Tails. And a Mega Slowbro EX. So we're doing pretty good. We got four packs of Evos left. Nick, why don't you have a join button yet? Is that for memberships? I did get an email the other day saying that I qualified to do memberships. Why are you stopping Evo packs? Or are you stopping Evo packs after you get the Zard? No. I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish these 10 and I'm gonna stop after that and save the rest of the Evos for Friday. So I've, I'm sitting on a few booster boxes of Evos right now. I'm waiting on a couple more to come in the mail. And then two more Kanto Power Boxes. Hairy Insect. This one also has that kind of swirl in the background. So we that's two for two on the hollows, aren't we? Hell yeah, fool, says Titan Wilkins. What's up, bro? I sent a DM to Nick's strength and power about Pokemon. Purse, Persis Lawn. I'm going to have to look, bro. The Nick Strength and Power account gets a lot of DMs. Yeah, membership. See, I don't want to charge people money to join the channel, though, because I don't know what I would 
what I would give them in return unless we did like private streams. So that would be something I would consider doing. If this channel does get a lot bigger, if I offered streams just for members so that they could have more of a one-on-one -on -one experience, that might be something I would offer a membership for. I think that would be cool. Favorite Pokemon game? I would say Pokemon Crystal was my favorite. All right, so we're back to evolutions. Beyblade show sucked. The toy was so dope. I never really got into Beyblades either, to be honest. I think Chris did. Or just go over to Twitch TV instead of YouTube, says Kevin. Honestly, I have a I have a Twitch for Nick Strength and Power. I, I got the handle for it. But I'm just so much more familiar with YouTube. It's a lot easier for me to use. Um, so I've never really thought about going over to Twitch. Water Energy, Growlithe, Machop, Voltorb, Jose Peru is watching me from the gym. Brock's Grit, Reverse, and a Starmie. So we've got three packs left of evolutions. I feel like memberships take away some of the experience for those who can't afford to pay. Yeah, I feel the same way, Connor. Just because you have the option, I don't think means you should uh, sell memberships to your channel. They actually qualified me for memberships really, really early on in this channel, and I never did anything with it. It took my Nick Strength and Power channel like a long time to qualify for memberships. I didn't get the memberships option for quite a while on Nick Strength and Power. Toppercia Diggle One Wheel Sloan Man Mammoth. And that's it. Where'd you get your playmat from? It looks so dope. I mean, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I got this off of Amazon, actually. I was just looking at different Ultra Pro playmats. If we move these packs, you got Charizard, Salamence, Gyarados versus... There's a Blue Eyes up there, Red Eyes up there. Nick Strength and Power, would you play Pokemon Silver on stream for nostalgia? 110%. That's definitely something I'm looking at doing in the future on this channel. Earth Brachio, War Bandit, Clow, High Giraffe, Erica. So I'm guessing Meta B is the main card people are looking for out of this. The Metabots takes me back. This is Pokey K. No, no, no. I see him in pretty much every PokeTuber stream. Ooh, are we buffering? Hey. Let me know in the chat if we're good. I think we're good now. I think Meta B is a starter. So it looks like we have a hollow in here. A little lag, good now. Yeah, it buffered on my computer for a second, but I think it's back now. Cozy Horse. Koji, Marshy, Stay Dried, and Not Touch. Did we pull a Zard yet? We pulled a Mega Charizard EX Full Art out of the... Uh, Third or second or third pack of evolutions. We're still hunting for the hollow Zard. We got three packs left of evolutions. I think we might be able to do it. It's been a really long time since I've got a reverse hollow Zard from a pack. I think the last time I got one was the. Uh, I'm seeing. Uh oh, a little lag. Just let me know in the chat. Is this another? No, it's not a hollow. Tundle. Still lag. We back. Frill free. Spike and Shrimp Lips again. Okay, you back. Thank you. I appreciate you keeping me in the loop, guys. Better now. Okay. So three packs of Evolutions. Hopefully we're back from the lag. We'll do the Charizard pack artwork. Who the duck chose the names for the cars? I know, dude. I feel like they're translations or something. They're just like poor translations of whatever the original word was in Japanese. I know that Metabots was called Metarots in uh, the Japanese anime. Yeah, we pulled a Mega Charizard EX, but we have not pulled a full or a uh, OG artwork yet. So if your Game Boy shuts off when you're playing Pokemon, does that mean the battery is dead? I would assume so. Charizard Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Colorless Energy, Growlithe, Rattata, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Drowsy, Reverse Magnemite, and it's a Beedrill, isn't it? 
It's a Beedrill. Man, we were on a we we're on a good little run there with the Evolutions packs. The first few packs were pretty good, and now here we are, Beedrilling it up as usual. Three more Metabots. Is there emulations for iPhones, says Arthur Rhodes. I'm sure there are. There's a ton of Pokemon uh, emulators that you can download. Dr. Meta Evil, Easiest 2, Electra, Basart, and another Hollow. Kamome. So I, I'm still not really seeing what the difference is between a Meta Rare and a Rare, unless it's just the swirl pattern in the background of the hollow because this kind of has like a little honeycomb i don't know if you guys can see that but this kind of has a honeycomb pattern in the background of that hollow yeah there's a ton of uh, emulators for iphone that's a strange looking charizard what's the correct way to pronounce rattata I, well, that's how I say it, Rattata. Potato Insect, Sumilodon, Rakusho, Honey Force. I posted Beedrill just for you a few weeks back. I did follow you on uh, Instagram from my Pokemon account, Pokemon Beach Club. I aim to please. I believe you requested that a couple streams ago. What are the big hits in these Metabots packs? That's what we're still trying to figure out. I'll show you guys the hits that we got so far. It tells you on the back of the box that you got a 1 in 9 chance of getting what's called a Meta Rare. So whatever that is is what we're looking for, which is not the Hollows, because we've definitely had a better odds of pulling a Hollow than 1 out of 9. The Hollows have been like 1 out of 3. All right, second to last Evolutions pack. Can I get some good luck in the chat? Blastoise artwork. How much are you selling it for, Noel? He says, someone want to buy an Evo's box. If you're selling it for a fair price, shoot me a DM. I don't know why I just totally jacked up that pack trying to open it. All right. Second to last Evo's pack. Can we get the OG Hollowzard? Charizard, Spirit Link, Energy, Machoke, Magikarp, Onyx, Sandshrew, Vulpix, Electabuzz, a Reverse Electrode, and I see something behind there. Not bad at all. A Full Art Trainer, Misty's Determination. That's not bad. It's not a Charizard, but it's not bad. Definitely horrible centering from left to right. Probably not PSA worthy just based off that centering alone. Very off center. But not bad. Not a bad uh, Kanto power collection so far. So how many Metabots we got left? We've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfectly six. So we'll do three more, then we'll do three after the evolutions. So, Nervous Bird, Soft Amoeba, Sloan, Man Mammoth, Koji. Let me plug in my phone for a second. Looks like it's getting low on battery. While I'm plugging this in, feel free to ask some questions in the chat. I'll send you a DM. Okay, thank you, Noel. I'll check that. I'm always looking to buy Evo's boxes because I'm trying to open one every, uh, every Friday on this channel. Right now, it seems like the prices on Evo's have gone down a little bit. So if you're selling one, I'm probably looking, I'm looking for only boxes that are under $1,000. So that's kind of where I'm at with the price range. So we've got another hollow here, a Meta, Meta Plute. Sleeve him up. 
The Sloan card looks like a bootleg ash. You should check out Tag Team GX. Really cool set. Victor, Medicine, in a Carrara. Nostalgia, says Frederico Mello. Marche, Stay Dried, Clow, <coughs> Garant Lady, and another Karen. Watch out, guys. Karen's watching, so you better be wearing your mask. All right, last pack of Evolutions. Venusaur artwork. Harry Gill is back in the chat. What's up, bro? Harry has been on the past few streams, so I appreciate him stopping by. I do need to go through pretty much every um, every DM on my Pokemon account. I've got a lot of DMs already. That adds up, buddy. How much would you say you have paid in total on Pokemon cards? I think we are a little over 1K total. Well, I'm, I've definitely spent over 1,000 on Pokemon cards. Um, I'm mostly doing it for the channel now and to, to uh, hunt for Charizard. So that's the main reason that I'm buying all these. So I'm not spending money like willy-nilly on... Pokemon cards. I'm mostly focusing on evolutions, and I think if you're going to collect Pokemon cards, you should find like one set to focus on or one chase card that you're looking for and not just spend a bunch of money all over the place. I'm really focusing on just the evolution sets for now. I've probably spent, I don't even, I don't even want to say. I mean, I've opened at least 20 boxes of evolutions over the past year. Onyx. Reverse Arcanine, and a Mega Blastoise EX. Not a Charizard, but not a bad way to end it. We appreciate you opening them for us, Nick. Yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. That's what makes it even more fun to open the boxes, is having some people to enjoy the pulls with you. So we've still got three more Metabots packs, but I want to go through these pulls one last time. So out of 10 packs of Evolutions from one Kanto Power Box, we've got a Misty's Determination Full Art, a Raichu Hollow, a Mega Charizard EX, which pretty much pays for the whole Kanto Power Box. That's one of the best cards you can get. Um, Ninetales, Break, Mega Slowbro EX, and Mega Blastoise EX. So not too bad. You can't complain about the Mega Charizard EX. That's, like I said, probably one of the best pulls you can get and pays for pretty much the whole box. Even if you sold it raw, I think you could get... You could get probably close to 100 bucks for one raw. Are there any modern sets that you like other than Evolutions? I really like Cosmic Eclipse. So last three packs of Metabots. Basart, Anemone, Clow, Garant Lady, Karen. Hopefully you can make your cash back from what you've pulled over the past year. So it's all really going to depend on whenever I get my PSA submissions back and what those submissions, what those grades come back as. Um, right now, I've probably got 500 cards with PSA all across the board between Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and whatever else I've sent. And almost none of them have passed the processing stage. Only one of my orders so far is into research and ID. Um, so I think 70 cards are in the research and ID phase at PSA. And I think I've sent... The earliest one that I sent, I would say, was probably around November. Black Stag, we got another hollow. So I wouldn't be surprised if... I mean, hopefully I still get some back in 2021. But I wouldn't be surprised if I get some cards back in 2022. Are there no mods on this stream, says Connor Randall. Chris is supposed to be here. But because it's been a slower stream... I don't think we've really needed any mods. There hasn't been anyone spamming or trolling or anything. Soft Amoeba, Dr. Meta Evil, and Easiest 2 and Electra. So we'll go over the Metabots hits before we sign off here. And you guys said you wanted to see the, the dog one time. I'll show you the dog. And then remember, so tonight I will be posting another video on this channel. And tomorrow... I'm hoping to go live if I get the Evolutions packs in the mail that I'm waiting for, but the mail's been super slow lately. If not, I will open all those packs and an Evolutions booster box on Friday night, so we should have two more streams this week. So we've got Metaplute, Kamome, Cozy Horse, Harry Insect, Dr. Aki, Kono Tractor, 
Mr. Referee, Black Beetle, Cantaroth, Waterbeat, Wire Alien. And then the Evolutions hits for those of you guys that are just now joining in. Misty's Determination, Hollow Raichu, Mega Charizard EX, Nine Tails Break, Mega Slowbro EX, and a Blast Mega Blastoise EX. So not too bad on the Evolutions hits out of 10 packs. All right, let me grab the dog real quick. You guys can say hi to, uh, to Gus. I've only got the wiener dog in here tonight. The Yorkie's asleep. So let me get the dog. I don't even know if he'll fit on the desk. Yeah, I might have to take the camera off the tripod to get him in the frame here. Yeah, he ain't gonna fit on there. Let me try to clear some space. So there you guys have it. A little dog cam up on the desk. Gus says, I want to see some thumbs up. Gus, you want to be on live stream? You want to be on live stream, buddy? All right, guys. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. There'll be a new video tonight and a live stream tomorrow and a live stream Friday. So I appreciate you guys. Look at him. He just laid down. He's like, okay, I'll lay on the play mat. <laughs> Gus, you're too funny, bro. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Hit that like button. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next stream. Next Strength in Pokemon. And Gus, signing out. Look at him. He's going straight to sleep. He don't even care. <laughs>